Thanks, Cindy here. I'm just going to do exactly what I did two years ago. I'm going to read a message. And what I want you to do is I want you to post a video of yourself reading the same message. I will put this message I'm going to read down here in the description along with some links. You'll see what the links are once they're there. But the reason I want you to copy me is someone that's watching your channel that's subscribed to you might need to hear this. And I don't have a bunch of subscribers, but what if you do? There might be people that need this, and they may not find it off me, but they could find it off you. And they can come find me if you link to me, but that's not important. That's not necessary. What's important is this message gets out. So here's the message. Affirmations for bullying victims. This is a message to anyone who is being bullied right now. It doesn't matter if it's online or in real life. This is for you. You matter. Your opinions matter. Your feelings matter. Your thoughts matter. Your dreams matter. Your life matters matters. You are special. You are beautiful. You are talented. You are valuable. You are wonderful. You are respected. You are cared about. You are strong. You are a good person. You are loved. You can succeed. You can reach out. You can hold on. You can overcome. You mean something. You have worth. You deserve to live. I love you. Affirmations for bullying victims. Basically what this message is, is I am denouncing everything I was led to believe when I was being bullied myself. I was bullied so severely that I almost took my life, and this was back in the 1990s. So the bullying of today is not a new thing, it's just worse because now there's the internet. The day I tried to take my life was after three girls, three girls shoved my face in the toilet and they tried to drown me in the girls restroom. They were trying to murder me. I am not making that up. They were trying to kill me and the only reason they stopped is because a teacher heard the laughing and came in to see what was going on and they pretended like they were helping me because I got sick. And I was. And I was actually in the act of throwing up because I just swallowed a bunch of toilet water and I had inhaled it and I could taste it and I could smell it and I was physically ill because, you know, I'm kind of a germaphobe so I just knew that germs, germs everywhere. So, I just told that teacher I got sick because I wanted to get away from those girls. That wasn't the only incident. There was a boy who would threaten to rape and murder me every single day. And the school counselor would just say, oh, he's just being a boy. Maybe he's got a crush on you. So apparently a boy that has a crush on me is someone that is saying, I want to see you bleed to death with my dick in your mouth. Yeah, that's a crush. Okay. Every day. Every day. I had to hear him. And every day I was terrified for my life. And nobody should feel like that, especially not you. And if you are bullying someone right now, if you are being a bully, I implore you, no, I'm not going to beg. I demand you stop. You have no idea what someone is going through in their life right now. Someone might have a really bad life at home, and you are just adding to it if you're being a bully. I don't care if you're bullying online or at school, just stop it. You're not cool. You're not funny. You're not making yourself big. You're making yourself small. Bullying is petty. 
I can see that now. When I see bullying, I think of like kindergarten. You know, if you want to be a bully, go back to kindergarten because nobody needs that crap. But if you're being bullied, I want you to know that I care and I've been there and I understand. And that's why I created this message. This is what you see when you first come to the website and it's printable so that you can pass it out just like this. It might come out as two pages because of this footer down here because I used a free service and I apologize. If you get the footer, just turn it over and stick the second page back in the printer and walk away. And, but print this and keep it with you. If you're being bullied, print this and keep it with you. And if you know people that are being bullied and you want to help, print this out and pass it around. Give it to teachers. If you're a teacher, post it somewhere in your classroom. If you're a student, put it on lockers, random lockers, any locker, every locker. Keep a bunch of copies. Keep one in your folder. Keep one at home. Keep Put, put them on the bathroom mirrors, you know, in the restroom where the girls go to put on their makeup. Yeah, I was one of them sometimes. I would sometimes fix my makeup, so put it on the lockers. Put it inside the stalls. Just tape it to the wall inside the stall like this. And just, they close the door and they'll look up and see it. You know, girls' bathrooms, that's pretty much, that was Twitter before there was Twitter because people were always right on the walls. <laughs> the graffiti in the bathrooms. But what I'm trying to do is just to bring this offline and into the world. And since I can't physically go everywhere and read it, that's why I need you to spread it around. You can help spread this message. You can help have a positive impact on people who, like me back in the 90s, are just feeling like crap about themselves right now. And I know it's hard because when you feel like crap, you just feel like you don't believe the compliments you get. I know, because I was there. And that's why I denounced everything I was led to believe in school by writing this message. This, this is very personal from me to you because it might be exactly what you're feeling. It might not. But one of these might apply, one might not. I don't know your life situation, but I know what mine was and I know what I felt. And I'm pretty sure everyone has felt at least one of these things, that you're not this, you're not that, but you are. You are a fantastic person, and I don't want you to die because people are so cruel and they lack empathy. When I look back on the bullying that I went through, it does hurt, but I just hope that the people that bullied me grew up to be better people than they were. I don't want to wish ill on people, but it took me a long time. It took me a long time to look in the mirror and say I am beautiful. I graduated from high school in 1998, so it's been about 17 years. It's taken me 17 years of just healing, basically. And I can look in the mirror and think myself beautiful for the first time in a long time. Because I got made fun of because I am short and I'm really skinny and I am flat chested. I never really grew my boobs in. You know, I never really grew a girly figure. I have looked like this since I was 13, basically. And I got bullied for it because I was so different because all the other girls were voluptuous and they had the curves and everything and <laughs> And I didn't. And you know what? If you're like me, or if you are fat, if you're skinny, if you're tall, if you're short, if you're a dwarf, if you have a pituitary tumor that makes you super tall, that doesn't matter. What you look like does not matter. It's what's under your skin that really matters the most. Inner beauty shines, and you have it. You just got to open the windows and let it out. That's all you got to do. It might seem like it's hard right now, but trust me, one day you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to love yourself again. My hope is that I turn everyone who is a victim into a survivor. That is my goal with this message. I want you to go from victim to survivor. 